First breaking news, a reported sexual assault inside Churchland High School in Portsmouth. Today, your side's Jason Marks just talked to the suspect's mother, Jason. Yeah, Alvita, as soon as our 5 o'clock news aired, the 16-year-old's family called us because they say there are two sides to every story. Now, the alleged sexual assault happened here at Churchland yesterday around 11. We're told it happened right in the middle of the school day. A 15-year-old girl was on her way to class, her next class, when she was approached by the 16-year-old ninth grader, according to police. They tell us the boy grabbed the girl and took off her clothes and then raped her. It happened on the second floor landing near a stairway. The boy's family says the two students were in an on-off relationship for the last two years. They believe the incident was consensual, and they say the 16-year-old would never rape anyone. It's serious because my child could do life. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he grabbed somebody off the street and just raped them. This is somebody that you was in a relationship with. Right, we read with. a report saying he was waiting in a stairwell. I mean, we're in school. It's the third yeah. block. I, I know this school. I mean, it's people constantly in the hallway. Nobody. You know, lunch. I mean, how did no one saw anything? No one heard anything? You know, and for you to go back to class and just, it, it, to me, it's oblivious. It's heartbreaking and it, because I know what type of child he is. I know what type of spirit he has. And, and I know that, you know, he has good intentions. That was a 16-year-old's mother and aunt. They did not want to go on camera because they did not want to identify who the 16-year-old is. Now, who, the, who he is. Now, we're told the girl's parents uh, took her to Maryview late last night after she told them what happened. Uh, she was injured in some way. Police haven't released that information. We're also told security cameras inside the school recorded the alleged sexual assault, and the video will be used as evidence. We did call school officials about the incident, hoping to get more information, but they refused to talk to us on camera. We'll continue to follow this story. We'll have the latest for you coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 11. But for now, that's the latest here in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.